What's up guys? Welcome back to another video here on Play on GA with me, Seamus Brady. And this video is going to be a match review of the Meath ladies going up to the Dublin ladies in Parnell Park and winning in the ladies Gaelic football championship Leinster round robin round two. Meath won by a goal and eight to Dublin's 10 points. Of course, Dublin opened the round robin by beating Westmead by 623 to Westmead's four points. Hannah Tyrrell scored 2-9 and Carla Rowe scored 2-5. Incredible scores there. Dublin blew Westmead away. But in this game, Meath came up to Parnell Park and beat Dublin by a goal and eight to ten points. The same side, of course, Meath beat Dublin in last year's All Ireland final. Of course, Meath have won the league title as well. They're just on a roll. And this is another feather in the cap for this side. It's absolutely sensational what they have done. But before we get into the full match review here on Play on GA, please like, subscribe, share, comment. It really helps us out. And yeah, let's get on with the match review. So Emma Duggan's second half goal was the difference between the two sides. I mean, it had been nip and tuck up until then. Meade went on a burst. And yet then that goal proved to be the difference between the sides. At the start of the game, three minutes in, Stacey Grimes pointed a free for Meade to get them off the mark. Then Vicky Wall followed it up with a nice point from play. In the 11th minute, Grimes hit her second free to put Meade three points to no score up. Dublin responded with points from Nicole Owens, who curled over Dublin's opener, and then Sinead Wilde to make it three points to two. Before Avian Cleary, Meade's all-star centre-back, hand-passed over the, sorry, finished over the bar after being nicely set by Neve O'Sullivan. Kate Sullivan responded for Dublin with a brilliant solo point to make it four points to three. And then in the 28th minute, midfielder Jennifer Dunn pointed to level at four points apiece. That was the halftime score. A bit of a low scoring first half, but very, very tense. Both these sides are so evenly matched. In the second half, Stacey Grimes hit her third free. That was followed by a Neve O'Sullivan point to make it six points to four. Then... There was a lovely move for Meath, which proved to be the defining move of the game. Vicky Wall and Stacey Grimes were both involved in the move. They set up Emma Duggan, who buried it to the back of the nest, past, back of the net past Abby Shields to make it a goal and six to four points. And this was key because it was a bit of a six-point turnaround because right after Meath's goal, Dublin went down the other end and Quivo O'Connor hit the post for Dublin after going for goal. Monica McGurk wasn't getting there and it hits the post so close. And that really could have changed the game. If Dublin had taken Meath's momentum and turned it around, it would have been huge. Then there was a trademark Vicky Wall point from midfield. She ran probably from the centre of the pitch with the ball and finished wonderfully. Stacey Grimes hit her fourth free after that. And now Meath were 1-8 to four points ahead. Dublin responded to this, though, by scoring six points without reply. As Kate Sullivan hit two quick points, Hannah Tyrrell hit a lovely point. So with 10 minutes left, Dublin were now only four points down. Martha Byrne, Sinead Goldrick and Aoife Kane all pointed for Dublin to make it 1-8 to 10 points. And this is when Lauren McGee has also gone into the sin bin. So Dublin just have all the momentum. They're dragging Meath back, but Meath hang on and win in Parnell Park. A sensational victory again for Meath. They win by 1-8 to 10 points. These are the two heavyweights in ladies Gaelic football like Cork are definitely a dark horse I really like Armagh as well there's another, another video coming about them but Armagh are too inconsistent for me and um, Dublin and me they're the two best uh, you've got Donegal pushing you've got you know Mayo are there as well you've got Kerry getting better Cork as well are always a threat but I think Mead and Dublin for me are the two best and look this is a massive massive result for me again because they're just proving by beating Dublin here the last year's All-Ireland final was not a fluke. I mean, Emma Duggan's goal in last year's All-Ireland final, like as wonderful as it was and it proved to be the difference between the two sides, you could argue she was going for a point. So a lot of people have said, look, we like Dublin were better on the day. No, I think me, they're a better team than Dublin just about, but I think if anybody can beat them, it, it's Dublin. So these are the two best and yeah, I can't wait to see them lock horns again. Meath go on now to play Westmeath in the final round of the round robin. And that spells serious trouble for Westmeath. I mean, like, look at what Dublin did to them. And Meath have beaten Dublin. So, look, I mean, GA math doesn't always add up. But this is definitely going to be a rough day for Westmeath. Meath are my pick, I mean, to win the all Ireland. Should they hang on to Vicky Wall? Because she's obviously talking about you know, going and playing football over in Australia, just like Cora Staunton did, just like Orlo Dwyer has done. So look, Meath, 
need to keep a hold of her because like the ladies Gaelic football needs to keep a hold of Vicky Wall because she's a star. She's a star. She's so marketable. She just has an aura about her. She's a, she's a legend in the making. She's a hall of famer in the making. So look, they need to keep a hold of her and um, because she's the key to the team as well. Her powerful run there for her score in the second half was just, it's becoming a trademark to see her pick up the ball, burn off about four girls and stick it over the bar. It's just, it's a trademark thing to watch. It's like Kieran Donaghy catching a high ball lobbed into the square. It's like Colin Cooper doing a dummy solo and curling over on the left. It's just, it's part of the game. And yeah, I hope she stays. And I hope we get to see these two lock horns at full strength again, because I mean, it's an absolute spectacle. And last year's all Ireland final was probably one of the best ladies Gaelic football games, the best Gaelic football games I've ever seen, period. I mean, it was fantastic. The drama, the excitement, the just the tenacity of both teams was brilliant. And yeah, I can't wait to see them lock horns again. So guys, that is my match review of Dublin versus Meath in the Ladies Gaelic Football Leinster Championship Round 2 of the Round Robin. I'll be doing some more Ladies Gaelic Football Roundups, so make sure you check them out here on Play on GAA. The game's coming up at Kerry versus Tipperary in the Munster Championship. That was the Munster semi-final. And then the two Ulster semi-finals between Armagh and Monaghan and Cavan and Donegal. So make sure you check them out. Until the next one, guys, here on Play on GAA, take care.